Hey up everyone, back on Enigmatica 6 with the Arch Panda and back in our little make do arena that we had over here and we're going to um, yeah have a stab at the wither. Well, here goes nothing. Okay, that might have been a little bit of a boo-boo there, but there we go. That's better. Right. Just wait for it to boom, and then we are on. Yikes. Get back here. Not to self, I should have probably done this at daytime as well, so I don't have to mess around with phantoms. I've got wither, and I don't know how much health I've got. Whoa! He is really hovering on to me. Oh! I'm still on full health. So it looks like my netherite armour is doing its thing beautifully, and it's not actually hurting me. Okay, you went past the world. Right, we're now at the point where foes don't hurt it, but it comes down to me. Okay, although I know I'm pretty good, I'm pretty safe, uh, my armor has took quite a beating, and that was still a little bit more stressful than I'd like. But there we have another star. Just get rid of all this junk that we managed to pick up. One nether star. Oh, so we can get a new sword. Stuff for pneumatic craft. Uh, improved dank storage. Yeah, that's that's not coming anywhere yet. A tier two apiary, which just makes our current one makes it a little bit more efficient. Uh, Archmage spellbook. So when we get to Ars Nouveau, we can get some extra things. Just a second, go away. Back, back on we go. Close enough. Right, where were we? Uh, so we can get Infinity Range Booster for the RF RS storage. Fine storage. Does that mean with this nether star I can have my refined storage anywhere and everywhere? Because if that is the case, I'm gonna be a very happy panda. Very, very happy. Um Beacons, hooks from aquaculture, range augment from pedestals, a few more and some end crystals can get our everlasting upgrade, which yeah. Backpacks become vulnerable, so if we ever die, the backpack will never be despawn. Which good if you haven't got something like we've got, which is the grave mod. Um and a dimensions card, so we'll be able to use the refined storage in any dimension. Okay, that may be what we spent our first uh, with, a st with a star on. Uh, light and arrows makes it possible to put backpacks into backpacks. Very nice. Very, um, yeah, too many th backpacks into too many backpacks, you end up breaking the game. Uh, tier 3 apiaries shield projectors now when I mentioned the RF, uh, RF tools little bit little future nod to what we're looking at this helps make a brilliant wither farm and nice uh, this So we can use Nature Zora, we've got it. You can use it in power to get our Nitro Crystals. 
uh, which we don't need yet anyway, so we're okay. We could use it to breed Diamond and Wither Bees to get another IB, which would be very, very handy. could do that Wither Bee, actually, as well, because if they give enough Never Stars, even better. Um, or that's with a Skeleton. Right, I'll look at that in just a minute. Uh, let's have a look. A Wither Bee. Diamond and Obsidian Bee. And what do we get from it? With the honeycombs, centrifuge into with the skeleton skull. So, uh, still pretty good. If we can get the netherite bee, then we can get all the netherite scrap we need. I don't have to worry about my armor. That can keep it always repaired and topped up. Hmm, could be interesting. So, uh, let's throw these arrows back in there. We don't need those for a while. Uh, Stick our bow in here. And yeah, let's get this uh, range booster made. Because if this does give us infinite range on our refined storage, then I don't have to worry about wireless transmission of things. So I need to get the couple of range cards that we've got plugged into our system out. Uh, where are you? There you are. So how many did it need for the recipe? Uh, that one wasn't it. So three and two with her eyes. So, and three netherite ingots, which Luckily, we've got the stuff for it, so let's get that. Infinity booster. Oh, wow. So we did have a range of 56 blocks, 32 blocks. We've now got a range of... Uh, 2,147,483,647 blocks. I think that was a very um, respectable thing to spend our first nether star on considering that <laughs> accessing this from anywhere basically means if I am out exploring you know miles away in a dungeon or anywhere and I decide I just need to dump off some stuff um, don't even need that anymore. <laughs> uh, yeah, that that was a beautiful first item to find. Um, the first item to make with another star. I am very happy with that one. Right. Uh, what we're going to do next was look at a bit of magic, weren't we? It's been a while since we've been in the magic quarter since we... Uh, Actually, since we last moved stuff around and got the uh, uh, thing set up so we could get our blood altar going. But what we're going to do next, do we do Britannia? Do we do a bit more occultism or do we do blood magic? Let's have a quick look. Actually, before I do, let's uh, cash these in and see what we get. So, uh, exporter, some storage housing, and some processors. Fair enough. Uh, let's have a look. Magic wise, magic, 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 magic. We've got Ars Nouveau, we've got Astral Sorcery, we've got Blood Magic, Britannia, Eidolon. Eidolon's new. I've been wanting to take a look at it. Uh, we do need monsters, well, we do need sacrifices for it. So got plenty of things in our mob spawner down there so I could easily get sacrificed with our soul gems uh, nature's aura will tie in nicely with Britannia I think so we might do that along with the Britannia one occultism we do have the um, 
Afrit essence that we need from summoning the Afrit boss. Uh, we need that to get further on in here. Uh, in fact, tell you how I feel a joke. Uh, we're supposed to have an infused pickaxe that we use to get some Eisenium ore so we can get our Eisenium pickaxe. We got Eisenium pickaxe as a reward, so we don't need that. Do you want the dimensional minecraft a uh, mine shaft because that'll give us um a quite compact auto miner uh i do like this mod but what we're gonna do i think is look at blood magic because it's, it's a mod that if we get it all set up and we can get it automated properly We've got a lot of passive buffs that we can have, which would have helped a lot before I got super stupid OP, but uh, yeah, I think blood magic might be the way to go. So let's get started on some blood magic. Uh, first things first, welcome to blood magic. It's currently in beta and complete at the time, so the quests are going to be expanded as the mod does, but what we need to begin with is our blood altar nice and easy that's his altar we'll pop that there and we'll complete the first quest now what we need is blood in our blood altar to get that we take our sacrificial knife and we stab ourselves with it now <laughs> got five buckets of blood in there but the blood is slowly creeping out so we need to use it uh, we do need a blood orb which is our tool for just about everything um, for that we drop a diamond into the blood altar so let's get a diamond of which if you notice we've got 500 of right click on the blood altar and with that rather red and nasty effects. Let's have a look. It's coming down pretty quickly as well. I wonder, does it tell you how much blood it needs in GEI? Yeah, 2,000. So it's definitely going enough in there, but now we've got our blood orb. So what this blood orb does, if we were to right click, hold in the blood orb, it adds to the blood network. But we don't need to be stood over it like we do. If we do the sacrificial knife over here, nothing goes in. You've got to do it on the altar. With this, no matter where you are, you can add to this uh, network. Now, what we need to do. We need our alchemy table. There we go. Let's get that. And we need incense altars. Some wooden paths. And slates. Which is just stone dropped into the blood altar. It gives us some uh, pretty pipes stuff as rewards. Basically, because pretty pipes are going to help automate these massively. And we need demons will. Those I'll come to in a minute when it's night time because it'll be easy to do that then. Um, charm of regeneration. Now, these charms are brilliant. 192 durability, but basically. I right click it I've now got regeneration but it'll slowly burn out the durability of the charm if we were to there we go, just right click to get it off to make these blaze powders, push the regen blaze powders 
that goes for a lot of the charms. The any or just about any potion effect, you can turn into a charm and have it as a portable re portable potion that you can switch on and off as and when you need it. Great with things like haste, uh, with things like flight, which requires potions of flight, which requires shulker hearts. So yeah, again, nothing we're going to get to anytime soon. Um, but what we need to do is let's get our alchemy table crafted up. Which uh, da, 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 da. Uh, it needs a blank. It needs a slate. So we need a blank slate. So let's get some stone. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's pop stone in there. And we've got a slate. And with that, let's just make our alchemy table. We need a incense altar, which requires our orb at the bottom. And then we need wooden paths. Uh, oh, do you know what? I've, it's swallowed me all up, hasn't it? There we go. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Oh, it's just it's a shapeless recipe, so any combination should work, but not working. I wonder if it's because I know I've got plenty of wood in there. Let's get our just let's get some wood. There we go. Throw it in here. One, two, three, four. Ha! Huh. It is planks. It is. Any orb. Might need an upgraded orb. So let's just grab these. Let's grab those. So we might need to upgrade our blood orb. Now, to get a better blood orb. So, da, 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 a princess blood orb, we need a redstone in the altar, but we need a tier 2 altar. To get a tier 2 altar, we need to replace these bricks with plank runes. So, to make these, it is stone, there's a blood orb, and blank slate, and we need, and that gives us one. So we need six more blank slates, uh, to which we haven't got any now because of this. Let's have a look to get cutting fluid, speed two, not bad. Uh, we'll get our alchemy table, which we'll just pop. Uh, let's stick it here for now, just so that we've got it. There we go. And let us grab a crate or two. So what we do to automate this, let us pop in here, we need a crate and a second crate. So in the first crate, what we do is we extract, and the second crate we also extract, but for now let's just get ourselves a quick So in, uh, duh, 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 duh. let's get uh, this. So I can do this a little bit easier. There we go. So in here, we want to make sure that we only have going into here stone. Um, five. If we do that, we don't need this one then. And we don't need this one. And then what we do is stick an extraction module in here as well. We say extract blank slates. Now, if I was to throw some stone in there, that should uh, 
if we allow stone. Let's get rid of the filter. Just say that. Um, uh, does it have to go on top? Yeah, it does. Here we go. So this is where this will go then. And this would have to go underneath to pull out. Right. Okay. I get this now. So really, we want boop, 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 and boop. And in this one extract but only extract blank slates and you can uh, extract we... uh, yeah you then we only allow to extract stone. Uh, and then we need more blood. There we go. Uh, we're going to have to figure out how to get this to play. But for now, let's get these things out of there. There are so many this time. Right. <laughs> five. I mean, I've known them to be like two or three, but five. Right. Part of the other rest of this quest. Let's have a look. I have to figure that out between episodes because it's doing me nothing. Uh, as is the wooden pass. So, demonic will. To get the demonic will, we need to throw a, snow, a soul snare at a mob. Once the soul snare attaches, we can kill it. Now, soul snares, easy enough. Uh, soul snare. Oops, that's not an S. String in the uh, blood altar. So, string in the blood altar. Here we go. Don't, let's just get rid of all this for now. There we go. So there's the soul stair. Uh, let's get a couple more for good measure. Right, so we've got ourselves some soul snares. More phantoms playing havoc, but uh, let's get our first prey, shall we? So, see the potion effect? That means he'll drop Will. So let's see if we can get a couple more. There we go. Now, the window in which you've got to kill them doesn't last very long. So it's best to try and hit it and then kill as quickly as possible. Well, it does help if you actually hit it with a soul snare. But we got a few wills there, so that's enough to start anyway. It's certainly enough to get the quest done. And let's go to sleep so that I'm not being driven mad by these stupid phantoms. My own fault for just being the kind of person that has night vision goggles so I never sleep. But here we go. Always forgetting about those. Oh yeah, one of the 
Um, in enchantments, I've got my uh, my Paxel, which I got as a reward. I got two of them, so I merged them together. Is teleportation, which means I can actually use these uh, travel anchors without being stood on them. Quite handy to have, but uh, yeah, just thought I'd quickly mention that while I'm here. So, throw them back in, throw them in, throw that in. Get rid of those. And we've got some demonic wills. And we need a, to do the same thing with the wills, we need a Hellfire Forge. Um, which I forgot to tag the rest before. There we go. One Hellfire Forge. There we go. And then with that, we need Arcane Ashes, which collection of items in uh, our alchemy table. We need Tartaric Gems, which gold, lapis, all that stuff in a uh, altar in the Hellfire Forge with one of the uh, wills that we've got. With that, we can then create a sentient sword. Which, when we kill things with a sentient sword, we do not need a soul snare. Uh, so that is definitely going to be a good find. You get sentient pickaxe as a reward as well, which that could be handy. Um, let's have a look. So, got a fair bit of alchemy stuff to do, so we'll do that there. Let's have a look, we've got the blank slates we need to get as well. I've put all the stone away, haven't I? Primitive explosive cell. Ooh. Throw them in there. So let's get that stone back. Throw that gunpowder away. Uh, what do we, does it work with andesite? I hope so, because I've got loads of andesite. Well, it's definitely doing something. Although I've run out of, uh, where's my sacrificial dagger? Do you know what? This is where the uh, charm of regeneration comes in. Right. That's another blank slate. So we're going to need a few of these. I'll be back in a moment when I've got uh, a few. In fact, do you know what? Let's have another stab at this shall we so we know uh, nope we know it goes into the top it should come out the side as well but let's uh, just make sure that I'm not making a mess of this so there's the crate so we do want this to output and site I want that to pull out blank slates. There we go. So that's pulling out the underside. Not entirely sure if this will keep working if I play out several at a time. Might have to do the uh, same trick I do with the um, uh, infusion infusion station over there. But uh, I mean, yeah, it's just got twenty four. So this is where the low filter came in. Restricts flow from pipes into adjacent inventories. So, andesite. No, that's not working. Yeah, I don't think Pretty Pipes has got anything that. The filter does restrict flow, so it stops certain things going into certain places, but 
there's nothing that does a full only one at a time kind of affair Ah, uh, well just have to do it the old fashioned way for now so yeah back in a boat once I've uh, got ourselves six blank slates is what I need so back in a boat right got our uh, six blank slates so what we need is six blank runes so let's get those built there we need one <laughs> that's what's given us let's pop them there two three four five six take our blood off back that completes the quest which gives us two speed runes what the speed runes do is make the altar work faster now here's the thing let's uh, stick that in there for a minute that's trying to upgrade can't really do much we need a better altar so if we were to break I forget how powerful this paxel is if we were to get rid of those let's uh, fill this back in Uh, I've just got rid of those, Lee. There we go. Let's get rid of those. Let's pop that there. Two, one, two, three. Speed rune. Speed rune. This is now a tier two altar. And the one thing a tier two altar can do, not only does it work faster, it's better. It can be used for bigger and better recipes. One of which is upgrading my weak blood orb into an apprenticed blood orb and this can take a bit of time and a lot of blood so let that do its thing while it is let's head over to our alchemy table now we needed some things to create some powder the arcane ashes so we've got our bits there what we need is our blood orb which currently full of life essence but uh, we need that for a moment pop that into there you see the process going this should now give us da -da 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 -da. some arcane ashes we're going to let that go in a few times. Now the, the alchemy table can be used for a few things. Grass blocks, lead dust, so we can actually be audible with it. Um, same with the magna gems. We can use it for all processing to get an extra blaze powder, but thought about the normal. Yeah, quite a bit. We could even use it to make bread. <laughs> So, yeah, quite a few different uh, things. I mean, charged charged certus quartz shows up on here, but that's for um, a mod that's not on here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, quite a few things. I mean, yeah, gravel, flint from gravel, pods all from dirt. Uranium can double emeralds up. There's quite a few things you can do with it. Clay from sand. But what we're really bothered about is the arcane ashes. Now I've just oh, which you can use to create these. Oh, I remember what these do now. Yes, there are certain rituals that you can perform on the ground using arcane ashes <laughs> I remember these now so let's pop our blood orb on there now this should uh, no I've just remembered something we don't use that to upgrade what we need is a redstone block is it apprentice blood orb redstone block 
fortunately for me, I've got a bit of redstone there. Throw that in. A redstone block and how much? 5,000 uh, life points. There we go, should be enough. One of the runes that you can make for going around here is capacity runes, which increases how much life points you can hold in there. Well, that is wearing away. The other thing we wanted to make was this Tartaric gem. So redstone, gold, lapis and glass. Gold, redstone, lapis, glass. And in order to make it all work, we need our blood orb, which is now an apprentice one, which is ooh, wonderful. Let's throw you into here. Is it here? Is it one of these? Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, oh no, it's not the blood orb we need, it's the will. That gives us our Tartaric gem. Now the Tartaric gem, any demonic will harvested while the Tartaric gem is in the inventory will be gathered into the gem. So it's a good idea to have a couple. But what we want to do is make a sentient sword. So if we were to drop a bit of this will, I mean, you can see the quality is basically how much will it contains. And we would go over it, you'll see a gem contains 16 will. Now, if we, uh, we don't have an iron sword in here, but let's just make one. Let's to get an iron sword. And uh, how much will do we need for this? Does it say? It does not. Let's hope um, this is enough. Then, uh, what do we need? On the other side of it is another bit of will. Let's keep that there. And a tartaric gem, an iron sword. That is burning away. And we have a sentient sword. Now what we can do uh, is if I was to make one more tartaric gem. We could go around killing things with this and fill up those gems. Which will make it a lot easier to make more things with the Hellfire Forge. Which has... Let's have a look. Can make the crystallizer, the crucible, two things that we do need to create. Uh, shaped charge are what they sound like, they are explosives. Sanguine reverter, we need the greater tartaric gem, so we need a common one. So we need a lesser one, so we, can, we do need to upgrade our tartaric gems to hold more stuff. The sentient pick, the sentient sword, Daggers, quite a lot of things. Sentient axe as well. So that means between episodes as well, I may just sit in our mob grinder, just getting a few extra bits. Um, what? Let's collect a few of these rewards. That gives us a few things actually. Uh, Lava crystals, the sigil of the blood lamp, and the sentient axe, uh, sentient pickaxe. Right, the first sigil we've got, this one, would be brilliant if I'd have done this mod a lot earlier than finding a, some nitrogen goggles. At the cost of blood, uh, life points from your altar, you can place light sources. And if I was to take my goggles off, and go somewhere a bit darker, like over here. There we go. Everything's pretty dark, and that gives you a nice torch sized uh, light source. So, brilliant for lighting up areas if you don't want it to be. 
Crusoe will be tortured. Super obvious. I mean, that was just plain cheeky, that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I've got that, so I don't need uh, uh, anything else. So let's just throw some of these away. Well, back into our system, anyway. And give me some... Throw it there for now. We'll sort that out later. Uh, as for the lav crystal... Gives us activation crystals for low level. Oh, rituals. Use for the arcane ashes. So, that, I mean, so just realised what time we're at with. It's a bit of a long one. But that's blood magic started. Um, we do need to head further down this route with the crucible, the, the forge. And we do want to get much bigger, much better in our altars and then we need to get this well the dagger of sacrifice this is where you kill mobs on the altar in order to add life instead of stabbing yourself so yeah we are going to head a little bit further down here i think we might finish off a bit more of this next episode i'll try and get this automated a bit better as well but uh for now do the usual head into comments comment away hit like hit subscribe I shall see you later. Take it steady, have a good one, and bye-bye.